What's going on boys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be about the new update that's coming this Thursday. They're bringing back the PSG. They're doing something to the flamethrower, which we've all wanted. So make sure you watch the rest of this video and check it out. Hit that subscribe button. Whack a nice little thumbs up on the video and enjoy. Let's get into it. Here we go, boys. We got the new update coming this Thursday. I'm just going to read over the uh, the patch notes to let you guys know exactly what's to come. Uh, it's not the biggest update, but it looks like there's going to be some cool new things added to the game. So let's take a quick look. So, number one, there's a new energy device gadget. Uh, it's now making its grand debut. This amazing gadget can greatly improve your running and jumping ability for a short time. Endowing explorers with superhuman mobility. That's quite interesting. Um, that kind of reminds me. Now, if, if you guys played Fortnite, I think back in like season four or five when it came out, um, they had these things where you could actually uh, pick up energy crystals and it, it makes you um, jump really high. And I think it gives you a little speed boost as well. So I'm guessing it's kind of going to be similar to that because the energy device is a gadget as well so you're gonna be able to make this whenever you want and um, if you guys have played the new hunter grounds mode as well I think it's gonna be similar to the hunters abilities so you're gonna have um, the hunters abilities for a short period of time so a lot of you guys are gonna think people are hacking but uh, it looks like the energy device uh, is gonna be used so that's gonna be quite interesting let me know what you think about that new device uh, that's coming this Thursday um, secondly, we've got the Supreme Supplies that have been updated with a new theme. Hackers and Cyber Raiders are here to turn the internet upside down. Hacker themed packs are now available. Open them for a chance to get Hacker, Cyber Raider, Cyber Brain, Cyber Keyboard, Email Scope and other fine looks. So I mean, I guess they're kind of embracing the, uh, the hackers in Creative Destruction by um, letting them have their own skins. <coughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I mean, they could they could look cool. Um, we'll have to just see what what they look like on Thursday. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be quite interesting. Um, number three, to celebrate the Songkran Festival, this week's newly available weapon, Cyber Raider, will be on sale for just four hundred ninety nine diamonds. Don't miss out. Songkran Festival. I'm guessing that's some sort of Chinese festival. Haven't got a clue, but it, it's a new weapon, the Cyber Raider, coming out. And it's only going to be 499 diamonds. Wait, hold on. This week's newly available weapon, Cyber Raider. So, I'm guessing that's a skin because, obviously, you can't buy weapons. Every weapon's in the game anyway. So, is this going to be a pay-to-win a pay to win thing? Where if you buy this weapon for 499 diamonds, you get it in-game and no one else can get it? Unless they buy it? I really don't know. Uh, I'm hoping not, because then that'll turn this game into a pay-to-win, because a Cyber Raider weapon, it just sounds amazing, doesn't it? It could be, like, OP. Um, I guess we'll find out Thursday. Um, the Fortune Wheel now has background music and sound effects, so they're kind of milking the system again by getting you... They're kind of making the wheel stand out so you invest more diamonds into it so again guys i am still working on the developers um to make it an option where you can actually use your star coins and gold coins to buy more stuff in the game because they're the uh, some of the people that have been in my stream have literally earned like got like over a million gold coins and like over fifty thousand star coins and they can't use them so I am going to still try and get you guys to try and use them, maybe on like the custom room codes or new weapon skins, new skins, stuff like that, so bear with me. <clears throat> so, also they've optimised some UI sound effects, okay. They've optimised the auto build function, now I think this, uh, they mean by this is when you uh, auto build on a certain level of ground it doesn't work. I think you're going to be able to auto build anywhere in the map now, wherever you are. Obviously not like in the sky on on like like no platform, but like up, if you're like running up a hill, you can't custom build unless you're like on a flat piece. I think they've made it so the auto build, you can auto build wherever you want now. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And here it is, guys. The PSG is back with several adjustments in order to emphasize each sniper rifle's features. The VSS has been adjusted to match its initial positioning. 
join the battle and enjoy different sniper rifles. So the PSG, guys, if you didn't know, Season 1 and 2, I've been playing since the beta of this game. And Season 1 and 2, the PSG was absolutely unreal. Um, the VSS is good, but it's not as good as the PSG. PSG is just lethal. It's like a three shot. It's so lethal. So, I mean, I'm buzzing that that's coming back. I know a lot of you guys are happy that that's coming back as well. Let me know in the comments exactly what you think about that coming back. Um, because that's going to be absolutely amazing. And one more thing, guys. I'm going to put a picture just here. Um, the developers have confirmed that the flamethrower is actually being nerfed. Because I know a lot of you guys, I mean, the flamethrower does, what, 15, 16 damage per hit every, like, half a second. And it also does flame damage over time. So what I think they're probably going to do is the flame damage, they're probably going to put down to, like, 1 instead of 5. And um, maybe they'll nerf the damage of it so it'll only do maybe 5 to 10 damage instead of 15. Um, I don't think they're going to nerf it massively. I think it's still going to be OP. Maybe they're going to make it so you can't flame through walls. Because I know there's uh, a glitch where you can flamethrower through walls. So walls are pretty irrelevant when there's a flamethrower. Um, so that's going to be awesome. I'm buzzed for this update. I hope you guys are as well. Again, let me know in the comments exactly what you think about it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on with the next video. So again, guys, smash that subscribe button, hit a little <laughs> thumbs up on the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, boy. Gila.